Hello, I've been working on developing my own video game on and off again for about one year. I'm working on this game called Ninja Akio. It's a third person stealth game where you play as a ninja and complete various missions. In this video, I'm going to take you through the progress that I have made and how I started this project from complete scratch. To start, my plan was to make a full game and release it on Steam so I can document the experience and showcase anything that I learned on this channel. Although originally, I was unsure of what game I should make. One day, I was browsing YouTube and I saw this video called What the Hell Happened to Tenchu? I learned that Tenchu was the stealth ninja game developed for the original PlayStation. The gameplay involves a player guiding a chosen character through missions, with the aim being to remain undetected while either avoiding or quietly killing the enemies in the level. They released this game ages ago, and it seemed like they had never made a successor for the game. The closest thing I can think of is From Software's Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. Anyway, for the time, the game looked fun. I even found an online emulator and tried to play the game, although the controls were terrible. So now I had the idea for my game. The next phase was to make it. I spent some time thinking about the art style that I wanted for the game. I was on the Unreal Marketplace and I saw this cool Oni Samurai. An Oni is a kind of yokai, demon, orc, ogre or troll in Japanese folklore. Oni are born when truly wicked humans die and end up in one of the many Buddhist hells. So the plan was you'd start the game as this ninja character, then in the opening cutscene or level you complete this horrible act and end up becoming an Oni. Then you'd play the game as this Oni and you'd make a deal with the devil to see if you can reverse your circumstances. I even bought the model that I saw and set up the character. So I was planning on having this game with super nice realistic graphics. Although what I was planning in my head and what I could probably create were two different things. I could clearly picture in my head how I wanted the game to be, although I wasn't sure if I had the skills or budget to make the game that I was kind of dreaming of. So I kind of scrapped the idea that you'd play it as an Oni and decided that I'd make something that I knew I could create. For my game, I decided to go with a low poly art style because I knew it would be relatively easy for me to find and make assets for the game and I thought by having a low poly art style it would also look kind of nice. Eventually I even found this nice Japanese low poly asset pack which I could base some of my levels on. So now let's get into some of the details about Ninja Akio. In the game there are going to be a certain amount of stealthy missions that you can go on. The idea here is before going on a mission you choose a limited amount of items that you want to take with you to help you. Maybe you'll take loads of health potions if you think you're going to take a lot of damage. Once you go and complete the mission, you'll unlock more items at the next level. You can then decide if you want to redo old missions and get a higher rank, or move on to the next level and repeat the cycle. So as you play the game and move forward, you'll be unlocking more and more items which will help you when you take on harder missions. Let's go over some of the items that I designed. Originally, I was going to give the player a grapple hook which would help you get to hard to reach places and give you a possible location advantage amongst your enemies. Although later I scrapped this idea because when I designed some levels, the way I made them I felt like the grapple hook was giving the player too much of an advantage and it led to loads of questions like what I give enemies grapple hook and it felt like I'd have to design my game around this grapple hook mechanic whereas I kind of wanted the focus of this game to be more on stealth. So to keep it simple I removed it. Instead, I decided that I'd give the player access to other items and that the player would have to primarily move stealthily around the levels in order to succeed. And the items that you choose will help guide that. One item that I added is the transform. It's quite overpowered, so you can only carry one of them and this will probably be unlocked in the very later levels. Basically, it allows you to transform into an enemy in that level for a couple of seconds and they'll not be able to detect you. There are also some standard items like rocks which I added which you can use to throw to distract enemies and get the sneak on them. I won't cover all the items that I've added in the game and to be fair I may even change some of them. When you unlock new items in my game I wanted it to feel exciting. In some games you get loot boxes when you unlock new items although normally these are microtransactions which you have to pay for which kind of sucks. I kind of wanted to recreate the feeling that you get when you unlock a new item so, when you unlock a new item in my game, you are taken to this loot box chest screen and it will say you've unlocked a mystery new item and then when you open the chest, it will show you the item that you unlocked. I thought this was a nice touch 
before i just had some text which would say you've unlocked a new item when it gave you the rankings of your mission details next let's go over how i made the level select screen originally it was just going to be a screenshot of the level you're about to play although i thought this looked very ugly and i was thinking in rpg games normally you go to a job board and you get your missions so i decided i'd put a job board with a bunch of listings and make it look like the player was about to grab one of the posts when you selected a mission. I thought this looked much better to how it looked before. If you are watching so far and enjoying, I'd greatly appreciate it if you could wishlist the game on Steam. I'll leave a link in the bio of this video where you can do that. It helps the game become more seen when I eventually launch it. Thank you. Next, let's go over how I designed the AI in my game. In Tenchu and other games like Dark Souls and Sekiro, when you go behind an enemy, if you're positioned correctly, when you attack them, you'll do a lethal blow which will instantly kill them, and it kind of plays a cool little cutscene. A similar system exists in my game. When you go behind an enemy and they don't see you, you can execute a lethal shot which will kill them and show a cool little cutscene. And with my system, if you kill an enemy that's just in front of you before it's noticed you, it will also perform a lethal execution kill. So, in my stealth game, it would be unfair if the AI, when it saw you, it just instantly detected you. For this reason, I made it so that the enemies have a stealth bar, and when they see you, it will slowly fill up. When it goes all the way full, the bar will become this red execution dot, and the enemy will be alerted of your presence and will try to attack you. The problem with this original system was, when I was playtesting the game, sometimes it would be hard to see when the enemy detected you. It's for this reason I added off-screen indicators to let you know when the enemy was looking at you. But sometimes it felt like these off-screen indicators were just not clear enough when you were playing the game, so I scrapped this whole system. Instead, I added these spherical arrows around the player. Whenever an AI sees the player, the arrow will appear in the direction that the enemy is looking at you, and I think this system is just a lot more clearer. Finally, my previous devlog was about this, but I added some cosmetics to my game so you can unlock cool different outfits for the ninja character. So in a nutshell, that's kind of all the main progress that I've made in my game. I kind of wish I focused on my game as I've kind of been on and off when I've been developing it, but I'll save that for a separate video. For now, I just work one hour on my game when I feel like it. In total, there'll be nine missions in the game which you can complete. I think I've coded the game, it's like 80% done. I've coded everything that I need to do. I just want to redesign some stuff, optimize some stuff, polish some stuff, and then I think the game will be done. After that, I'm going to hold a beta to see if I can find any bugs. I'll fix that, and then after the beta, I will launch the game. If you have any feedback or suggestions on the game, you can comment below or just DM me on Discord. I'd love to hear it. That's all for this video. If you enjoyed, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.